Welcome to Center Athletics Forsk, Minnesota, and the Rowdy Bloodstained Thunderdome. The fans have already moved on from drinking beer in cheap plastic cups to drinking ale and freshly harvested skulls. I, for one, am glad the broadcaster's booth is an old World War III bunker. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Malice Hellboys take on the Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. I Welcome to MFL Sunday School, where the good playbook teaches it's an eye for no reason, a tooth for an eight ball, and a limb for just looking at me the wrong way. MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow, my partner's Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, and these guys flat out want to kill each other today. Yeah, these are the kind of games families come out to see. It's good for the sport. You know what I like about this home team is 90% of them were born criminally insane. You can't teach that. Shock treatment work. Well, after she killed four of the doctors and after, they never bothered her again. So yeah, I, I guess it worked for her. And it's first and ten. Well, Fee found a devastating hit, knocks the ball loose. And the defense, and he finds open space, is running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. He's at the ten, and he scores. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Threads the needle for a first down. First down to three. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Defense goes warp speed. Man, that defender just turned on his jets. Hey, Grim, have you ever noticed that when you're driving, everyone going slower than you is an idiot? And everyone driving faster? He's a maniac. Second down and more than the QB would like.
You know, you gotta put the buzz on the MVP conversation, Briggs. Got more kills than anyone in the league right now. Yeah, you make a good point. And it's first and ten. up five on that play second down and five oh the defender almost picked up the ball on that one third down and five Drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. They run it for a yard. Second down and nine. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. And that'll bring up third and one. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Second down and a lot. Turn your nostril hairs once and for all. And it's first and ten. Stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. It's a touchdown! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. 
When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked out? What do you do then? Run. The kicker just ended up in the meat wagon. They'll need to find another player on their bench who can kick field goals. Good luck with that. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just made a nice cut to avoid the saw. But the saw just made a better, cleaner cut to the ball carrier. And it's first and ten. Quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. Yeah, man, I was hanging on the panel now. You know what happened? Second down in a mile. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he snapped. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Yeah, tell him me. Nice run. Not. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And it's first and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. the ball into the defense picking up seven second and three and he snatches that one out of the air for a first down see if they can get something going here And it's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go! He's on... And the crowd goes wild! Touchdown! Touchdown! And that, my friend, is the dance of someone who knows they can negotiate for more money next year. I call that shake, rattle, and bone. You know, that should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good.
good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Second down and nine. Hey, kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? I do. Join the MFL and try Roid Rage. And he's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He scores. He earned those points on the heels of an epic. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. Second down, and he often says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now and is going to try. Oh, what the brutal hit. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up in my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. I'm going to wreck it. And it's first and ten. drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. First down and nine. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay.
And it's first and ten. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Third and four. The timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Oh, boy, there go and that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Yo, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. But remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. Second down in more than the QB would like. for every yard and the quarterback drills one in for the first down the quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock they have two left and it's first and ten Looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my offseason. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. And he picks up four on that pass and catch. And, and they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up with a crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to begin, and if it's as much of a blowout as the first half was, we may see a riot in the stands. Well, that's going to happen either way, Grim. It's a $1 Red Bull. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. Oh, and that kick to his highlight reel. That was perfect. And since he's a kicker, that brings him up to a one-hole highlight.
And it's first and ten. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. First down and six. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Point. And a well-placed cleat. And that'll bring up second and one. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Second down and long. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue! You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue! My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk! Your father was a very smart man, Rex. He's got his beast boost working! The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass! And he runs it in for the touchdown! Mistakes here. The defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> okay, nice and easy like a two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. First down. Uh, 
And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. It's a six yard gain. Third and four. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. You usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck, which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. And it's first and ten. Drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. Good thing they don't have drug testing in the MFL because we and that's a first down. Looks like they're just gonna pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not gonna touch that one. That's what she said. <laughs> Man, what a hit that was! Second down and six. <laughs> And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's almost poetic, man! Like a high school! Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Whenever a player gets big like this, oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. Second and three. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down.
first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Oh, the receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Ben, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim told me. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And it's first and ten. And that catch will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. You've got to catch that. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And that's another pick. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Hey, oh, gang, man, I can't. I can't get on the up, get on the up, get on out, you know? And it's first and ten. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up down the bill sticking out of flimsy low hands nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. Murphy Brown! What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. And it's first and ten. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Second down and two. Oh, look at this guy. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep him guessing. 
And it's first and ten. Running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the races. Comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. They're Team hates it. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Well, he made the pass, but then a slap in the face by the defense. Ah, oh, that's me in the hotel bar every night. Hey, your opening line needs work. Why? Really? What's a pretty girl like you doing here all by herself? Are you a ho And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. It's the two-minute warning. You know what that means, right, Brex? Yeah, take a giant whiz and get in a fight in the men's room. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stumping. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Hey, man, nobody can touch you with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Jake, what you talking about? Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? they just be called sinners then. The kick is good! Man, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. <laughs> Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were gonna do some sort of chorus line. And that, ladies and mutants, is how you recover an onside kick. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. Roid Rage, how do you like your brains? Scrambled or fried? One Roid Rage breakfast special coming up.
You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. He'll be going onside here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. Kick and recovery by the kicking team. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. Second down and nine. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Seriously, man, you think you can go toe to toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Glenn. It just ain't right. He could go all the way. He's at the 20. You usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck, which is typically the amount that quarterback tips on dinner. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Red, can I kill him? And he held on to that one for a first down. First down. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. First down and one. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. And the mutant eaters go home hungry and defeated today. Speaking of being embarrassed and defeated at home, how'd your date go last night, Bricks? Uh, surprisingly well. I only had to make one visit to the emergency room. <laughs> she must have been a Girl Scout, because the knots she used at that extension cord, they were impressive, Ben. Very impressive. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.